even after attaining samadhi some retain the servant ego or the devotee ego the bhakt keeps this i consciousness he says oh god thou art the master and i am the servant thou art the lord and i am the devotee he feels that way even after the realization of god his i is not completely effaced again by constantly practicing this kind of i consciousness one ultimately attains god this is called bhakti yoga one can attain the knowledge of brahman too by following the path of bhakti god is all powerful he may give his devotee brahm gyan also if he so wills but the devotee generally does not seek the knowledge of the absolute he would rather have the consciousness that god is the master and he the servant or that god is the divine mother and he the child vijay but those who discriminate according to the vedant philosophy also realize him in the end don't they path of bhakti is easy master yes one may reach him by following the path of discrimination too that is called gyan yoga but it is an extremely difficult path i have told you already of the seven planes of consciousness on reaching the seventh plane the mind goes into samadhi if a man acquires the firm knowledge that brahman alone is real and the world illusory then his mind merges in samadhi but in the kaliyug the life of a man depends entirely on food how can he have the consciousness that brahman alone is real and the world illusory in the kaliyug it is difficult to have the feeling i am not the body i am not the mind i am not the 24 cosmic principles i am beyond pleasure and pain i am above disease and grief old age and death however you may reason and argue the feeling that the body is identical with the soul will somehow crop up from an unexpected quarter you may cut a peepal tree to the ground and think it is dead to its very root but the next morning you will find a new sprout shooting up from the dead stump one cannot get rid of this identification with the body therefore the path of bhakti is best for the people of the kaliyug it is an easy path and i don't want to become sugar i want to eat it i never feel like saying i am brahman i say thou art my lord and i am the servant it is better to make the mind go up and down between the fifth and sixth planes like a boat racing between two points i don't want to go beyond the sixth plane and keep my mind a long time in the seventh my desire is to sing the name and glories of god it is very good to look on god as the master and oneself as his servant further you see people speak of the waves as belonging to the ganges but no one says that the ganges belongs to the waves the feeling i am he is not wholesome a man who entertains such an idea while looking on his body as the self causes himself great harm he cannot go forward in spiritual life he drags himself down he deceives himself as well as others he cannot understand his own state of mind prem bhakti but it isn't any and every kind of bhakti that enables one to realize god one cannot realize god without prem bhakti another name for prem bhakti is rag bhakti god cannot be realized without love and longing unless one has learned to love god one cannot realize him there is another kind of bhakti known as vaidhi bhakti according to which one must repeat the name of god a fixed number of times fast make pilgrimages worship god with prescribed offerings make so many sacrifices and so forth and so on by continuing such practices a long time one gradually acquires raga bhakti god cannot be realized until one has raga bhakti one must love god in order to realize god one must be completely free from worldliness and direct all of one's mind to him but some acquire raga bhakti directly it is innate in them they have it from their very childhood even at an early age they weep for god an instance of such bhakti is to be found in prahlad vaidhi bhakti is like moving a fan to make a breeze one needs the fan to make the breeze similarly one practices jap austerity and fasting in order to acquire love of god but the fan is set aside when the southern breeze flo- blows of itself such actions as jap and austerity drop away when one spontaneously feels love and attachment for god who indeed will perform the ceremonies enjoined in the scriptures when mad with love of god 
Devotion to God may be said to be green so long as it does not grow into love of God but it becomes ripe when it has grown into such love a man with green bhakti cannot assimilate spiritual talk and instruction but one with ripe bhakti can the image that falls on a photographic plate covered with black film is retained on the other hand thousands of images may be reflected on a bare piece of glass but not one of them is retained as the object moves away the glass becomes the same as it was before one cannot assimilate spiritual instruction unless one has already developed love of god vijay is bhakti alone sufficient for the attainment of god for his vision Master, yes, one can see God through bhakti alone, but it must be ripe bhakti, prem bhakti, and raga bhakti. When one has that bhakti, one loves God, even as the mother loves the child, the child, the mother, or the wife, the husband. When one has such love and attachment for God, one does not feel the attraction of Maya to wife, children, relatives, and friends. One retains only compassion for them. To such a man, the world appears a strange land, a place where he is merely to perform his duties. It is like a man's having his real home in the country, but coming to Calcutta for work, he has to rent a house in Calcutta for the sake of his duties. When one develops love of God, one completely gets rid of one's attachment to the world and worldly wisdom. One cannot see God if one has even the slightest trace of worldliness. Match sticks if damp won't strike fire. Though you rub a thousand of them against the matchbox, you only waste a heap of sticks. The mind soaked in worldliness is such a damp match stick. Once Sri Radha said to her friends. that she saw krishna everywhere both within and without the friends answered why we don't see him at all are you delirious radha said friends paint your eyes with a collyrium of divine love and then you will see him to vijay it is said in a song of your brahmo samaj oh lord is it ever possible to know thee without love however much one may perform worship and sacrifice if the devotee but once feels this attachment and ecstatic love for god this mature devotion and longing then he sees god in both his aspects with form and without form purity of heart vijay how can one see god master one cannot see god without purity of heart through attachment to women and gold the mind has become stained covered with dirt as it were A magnet cannot attract a needle if the needle is covered with mud wash away the mud and the magnet will draw it likewise the dirt of the mind can be washed away with the tears of our eyes this stain is removed if one sheds tears of repentance and says o oh god i shall never again do such a thing there upon god who is like the magnet draws to himself the mind which is like the needle then the devotee goes into samadhi and obtains the vision of god god's grace is the ultimate help you may try thousands of times but nothing can be achieved without god's grace one cannot see god without his grace is it an easy thing to receive the grace of god one must all together renounce egotism one cannot see god as long as one feels i am the doer suppose in a family a man has taken charge of the store room then if someone asks the master sir will you yourself kindly give me something from the store room the master says to him there is already someone in the store room what can i do there god does not easily appear in the heart of a man who feels himself to be his own master but god can be seen the moment his grace descends he is the sun of knowledge one single ray of his has illumined the world with the light of knowledge that is how we are able to see one another and acquired varied knowledge one can see god only if he turns his light towards his own face the police surgeon goes his rounds in the dark of night with a lantern in his hand no one sees his face but with the help of that light the surgeon sees everybody's face and others too can see one another if you want to see the surgeon however you must pray to him sir please turn the light on your own face let me see you in the same way one must pray to god O oh Lord be gracious and turn the light of knowledge on thyself that i may see thy face